Hi there, my name is Jimmy Locke, and I'd like to present my invention that addresses indoor air pollution. Poor indoor air quality is a problem everyone shares. Did you know that the air inside homes and buildings are often more polluted than outside air? Have you ever heard of the sick building syndrome? These problems arise because of source pollutants inside the buildings. Now, obvious one is pets and dust mites, which cause fine particles and allergies and breathing problems. But a lesser known source is the actual building materials themselves. Uh, particle board, plywood, paint, and carpet. These are all constantly emitting carcinogenic gases such as formaldehyde and benzene. Most people spend about 90% of their time indoors breathing these pollutants every day. This exposes them to serious health problems such as developing asthma, organ damage, and various types of cancers. To make things worse, there are many activities we do inside that contribute to a poor indoor air quality. Cooking, cleaning, smoking, painting, um, and other hobby activities such as soldering, woodworking, uh, and welding all produce fine particulates and VOCs that are damaging for your health. The only way to limit our exposure is to actively clean our indoor air. And this is why I spent the last two years developing my invention that addresses this problem. And I'm giving it all for you to share so you can take charge and ensure the air inside your homes and laboratories is safe. This is my electrically enhanced wet scrubber. This technology can scrub out fine particulates and volatile organic compounds in buildings and do so cheaply and effectively. This technology is highly scalable depending on the application you want to use it for. It could be a small countertop device, or you can scale it up to something like this size. Now this device would be more suitable as a centralized air cleaning unit for buildings and workshops. Now let me explain how my system works. First we have my cyclonic wet scrubber, which scrubs out particles that are two microns and greater, such as dust, mold, pollen, allergens, and grease. The dirty air enters here and gets scrubbed by a turbulent vortex of water. Next, we have the electrostatic precipitator. This scrubs out ultra-fine particulates, which are less than one micron, such as smoke, mist, and viruses. It works by electrostatically charging the particles so that they want to stick to these metal tube walls. Lastly, we have the activated carbon pods. This absorbs volatile organic compounds, uh, which are those carcinogenic gases that are constantly emitted indoors, and it does so via the adsorption process. These are very important. This stage is also electrified to help in capturing ultrafine particle, particles. Now you can use either one of these stages individually or in combination with each other like I have right now. Now if you were to buy industrial equipment that cleans the air, you can easily spend thousands of dollars. What I have here, I can clean my entire workshop and possibly my whole house for less than $200. 
the only consumable would be the electricity and water to run it, as well as activated carbon, which you can buy in bulk, and that will last you a long time. There is an advantage using a wet scrubber because it can scrub out humid and grease particles, whereas a fabric filter cannot, and you don't have to buy fabric, fabric filters every year. Now let me show you a few applications. And now I'd like to show you a couple of tests. So for this test, I have just the wet scrubber here and I have this container of flour. The flour represents fine particulates, which are particles that are one micron and greater. What I'm gonna do is make a pile of flour here. And then I'm gonna hold my sweatshirt up to the output and see if it turns white. And now in this test, I'm going to use this box, which represents ultra-fine particulates, particles that are less than one micron, also known as sub-micron particles. So now I'm going to turn the electricity on. Turn it back off. Back on. Back off. And back on. Been a little bit of leak here, but looks like it's filtering out most of it. All right. So in this test, I'm going to use the fog machine again but I'm gonna use this photoionization uh, smoke detector. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the electricity on first and see if the smoke detector goes off. Seems to be working. I'm going to turn the electricity off. There it goes. It turned itself off. There's a lot of residual smoke, so it might turn it on again. There you have it. As you can see, my system filters just about everything. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope I inspired you to build your own system, to use it, and to develop the technology further. Thank you.